Nessa, what did you mean by your last tweet? Oh. What well, did you tweet? I tweeted how every time I go on the internet, there's, like, something that upsets me or makes, like, I see something that, like, upsets me or makes me sad. But it, oh. I, I didn't mean it as in, like, a, like a hate comments because, like, the worst of our hate comments are, like, this is dumb. And so, and so the word, what? Yeah, we get, like, this is dumb or, like, this is cringy. Oh, wait, there was this one comment, though, because, like, my bangs um, do this kind of sometimes because of my natural calic. So I, I had my hair like this at one point, and someone said, Why the F did Vanessa cut just that one strand? It looks stupid. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Wow. Anyways, okay, but that's not why I tweeted that. It wasn't because, like, I was getting hate or anything. It was just because, I don't know, and every time I go on Twitter, there's just something about people arguing about things and it's just Let's see. The I have a fire. solution for the lost AirPod problem. <gasps> see, that's not negative. That's not negative. That's a good thing. Suicide Squad is an Oscar nominee question mark. You know what? I conf I I kind of agree with that one. Like what? But anyways, wait, 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 wait. Just, they all they all reloaded. But yeah, it's just it's just like um, it's just annoying <laughs> because like I don't know because I would I don't I know if you guys notice I don't tweet my opinions a lot. Like neither do I. We don't tweet our opinions a lot. That's because I've just learned to stop. Should I? Should I start tweeting? No. <laughs> um, I just I caused so much controversy. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> I just, I feel like, I just, I have the right to express my opinion. You know, we have the freedom to do that. But I express my, if you want to know my opinion, I'll tell you in person. I just don't like to complain on Twitter about stuff. Yeah. I'd just rather keep it to myself, you know? I just don't like to get into it. I don't like to just put my opinions out there. But, like, I, th I feel like you guys t kind of know my opinions, though, just based on how I am already. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe. But, yeah, so that's why I don't tweet it about a lot. And like, I, I was even, like, this close to not tweeting that tweet just because I was like, people are going to, I don't know. Anyways, but it's just sad because I just... There's just like a lot of disrespect right now on social media, just with between celebrities, between like my friends. Uh, there's just uh, there's just things that I see, and I'm just like Ugh. between me and you. Oh, no, yeah, B. Huh. Oh, oh yeah, what about you? And there's there's like a and yeah. Anyways, because I like I want to say stuff, but I don't want to like thin people but i also feel like my opinion is very someone good. said social media is fake yes uh, and no yeah i know um in my associate are you saying whatever i tweet is fake our video is fake remember that oh, do you remember the trend <laughs> no stop a long time ago and you know when everyone was like fake fake Fake, fake, and it was just a joke. Everyone kept saying that we were fake or something like that. And then some people who didn't know that it was a joke would get kind of like upset. Like they're not fake. <laughs> um. So like here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So in one of my classes last semester, we talked about social media, and it was funny because no one in my class really was on social media. Sorry, first semester of college, no one was really on social media except for me. So um, cause like so I like knew more about it rather than other people because they just had like facebook and that was it but um we were talking and it's very interesting because on social media when you have like uh like your profile okay when you comment to someone like hate for example or start fighting with someone on the internet or subtweet about them would you really do that in person social media gives us this like it's like a heightened version of ourselves or kind of like a fake version of ourselves sometimes because you think you can kind of get away with things on social media. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can kind of get away with, like they hide behind the screen. Yeah, like like even like, like would you really say, 
I don't know an example, but would you really say like something rude to someone in person? But I also think it kind of goes with um, people knowing what respect is. Because like a lot of people right now, I feel like they want to preach respect and equality, but yet some people say, I'm all for this, and then they get really, really angry and then start bashing on others and being rude. And it's just like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Um, like, uh, for the, the whole women's march thing, like I would have, okay, one, I was too lazy to get up and participate. <laughs> and two, she was sick. <laughs> so we didn't go. But at the same time, I just, we just didn't go. Um, because I do support the women's march because as a woman, you know, I, I agree. Like, I totally agree. And I'm all for equality and I love everyone and I love to treat everyone with respect. But, um, <laughs> respect. Put on some respect on there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, and I feel like a lot of those, uh, women are that way, that way too. They want to be treated with respect but i also think they need to show respect too yeah we our president is donald trump <laughs> but for me i'm still going to respect him because i was taught to respect everyone even if they're not the best person in the world so i'm going to love everyone and respect everyone and treat them how i've always wanted to be treated um and my 